Hi everyone, in this video, I will demonstrate a combination of new features, which when used together, will allow you to create parts with unique labels, which you can then apply parametric support structures. Let's go ahead and start our demonstration by going to our part library and creating a box. This box will be 50 by 50 by 15 millimeters, and I'll generate the part. Next, I will move the part 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters in X, Y, and Z. So that is away from the build platform and the walls. Next, I will go to the settings and demonstrate an improvement to the parts renaming in NetFab's settings. Whenever we are renaming an, a part due to a repair action or a label action or some other action listed here, we now have the ability to take a value when appropriate and use the value in the name of the part. So in this example, we will be doing labeling, which means we can now take the label value itself and use it for the name of the part. So when I hit OK and save and add a label, the box will be renamed to whatever I use for the value in the label itself. So let's demonstrate that by selecting our part and adding a label from list. Let's create our list and here I will name it serial number and we'll start from one, we'll go to three. So we will have a total of three new parts, serial number one, serial number two, serial number three, and that these names will be used to rename the box. So when we hit OK, we can look at it from our top view and place our serial number as a label. I'll make it a little bit bigger and change its height to three millimeters. So it's only three millimeters uh, deep, either added to the part or subtracted from the part. I will also control the placement of these new parts. And when I hit apply, remove the old part, say yes, watch what happens to the name of the part. It will change from box to here, we'll give them a gap of 25. We'll change from box to serial number one, serial number two, and serial number three. And here we see all three parts. Now that we have our parts renamed and labeled as we desire, we can now go ahead and talk a little bit about the support generation. In NetFap, if I want to add supports to a given part, I can go to generate supports and run a script. When I run a script, if I do not have a custom script, Fusion ships a handful of default scripts, and I can choose one of them, and I can execute, and that part will have that support script applied to it. If I choose multiple parts, generate supports, run the script, choose a different script and execute, multiple parts will have that support script applied. This is uh, an acceptable way of applying supports, however, if I want a unique support to each part, this could be cumbersome, especially if I'm working with tens of parts. So let me go ahead and delete these. So in this video, I will demonstrate how to create a parametric support. To do that, we have to go to open support editor and create a new support script. We'll call this custom and hit okay. And we will add a bar on areas type support action. And we'll just save it with its default settings and close the support editor dialog. Now we have a custom support. When I go to generate supports, run support script, you will see a new icon that says custom. If I filter out the default uh, scripts, I will only see the custom one. So right now, if I execute that, I will get the outcome of a custom support script applied to a single part. Let's go ahead and delete that one more time and go into parametric supports. To generate the parametric support, I have to get into the support editor, take a custom support and add parametric information. So when I get into the parametrized script dialog, I can say, give me a new uh, parametric table and I get to choose what input from a uh, support action I want to parametrize. So let's say for this demonstration, I want to control the bar contour and let's say I also want to control the bracing. When I hit OK, it adds values and columns for each of those things I mentioned. 
and I can add new entries. I get to give them names. So I will, in this case, use the same name that I want to apply to a given part. So if I want an entry where the where there is no bracing on serial number one and the bar contour is solid, I can create a entry like so. I can do one more. Let's for serial number two. Let's say we want a K-type bracing and a solid bar. And then for the final serial number, serial number three, we want an X-type bracing with, once again, a solid bar. Or we can change it to a uh, cross, for example. Okay. So we have our three parameters associated with a certain value. We save this, and then we save this one more time, which means our custom script is now contains um, parametric information. We can close the support editor, select three parts or all the parts that we have, assuming we have created enough uh, parametric information, and go to generate support and run support script, which now has parametrized information. So now you have a new filter that appears because this custom is no longer just a, a singular custom script, it's a parametrized script. And you can map the parametrized script by name to the parts that you have selected. When I hit execute, you will see that NetFab automatically added bar supports with the solid profile to the first part, bar supports with the solid profile and a certain bracing type to this one, and uh, cross style bar supports to, with cross style bracing to the third part. Now, in this demonstration, we only utilize three parts, but you could utilize tens of parts and create uh, different coupons and print th these different coupons with different styles of supports to understand what uh, material printer uh, and support combination uh, works for your geometries and printers. Uh, to make this a little bit easier, the editor where we created the parameterized information also allows you to take a given table like this and export it as a CSV file and import it as a CSV file. And you can easily uh, add different um, parameters by choosing their names and taking a look at the format in CSV and editing the inputs by utilizing a third party solution like Notepad or Excel to create these CSVs you can create your um, combinations of parameters much faster. And by importing them into NetFab, uh, you can create these different parts with labels and uh, different supports more efficiently.